and that Donna Karen, they be sharing All their money got me wearing fly Girl, I ain't asking They say they love my ass And seven jeans, true religion I say no, but they keep giving So I keep on taking And no Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I make my YouTube thumbnails. So first, of course, I have to take a picture on a star stable on my laptop that relates to the content in my video, and then I will send it from my laptop to my iPad through Discord. Then I download the image and bring it into Procreate. Procreate is not a free app, but you can substitute it with like IBS Paint or any other drawing device. And now I'm just gonna insert the photo. After I insert the photo, I'll kind of crop it a bit so that the main parts of the image pan to one side. So for example, you can go to the left or the very right, but you wanna make sure that you have room for text. In this case, my Frisian's looking towards the right, so it only makes sense for me to put the main part on the left. When I finish adjusting the photo, I will go to my other layer, which is this Star Stable logo. You can download it from Google, you just search up Star Stable logo, and then erase the parts that you don't need, and, you know, put it into your software. And then I usually put, like, it pretty small. It doesn't necessarily have to be, like, on a diagonal, it can be straight as well. But you want to put it in a corner that's basically empty and still leave room for your text. Now we don't want the Star Stable logo to be an ugly barf color, so I'll look for like the main color tone here, usually in the outfit, so in this case it is red, and I'll just select a neutral red and drag it in to the letters. And if I figure that the shade of the color is too dark or too light, I'll simply go back and hold down the button again until I can find a more like gentle color. But I always make sure to leave the white part completely white so don't drag like the fill in bar too high or else everything becomes white. Now I'm gonna show you what an overlay is. Basically, you take some luminescence glitter and then you go over the spots that you want to be brighter and more colorful. So I went over the sun, you usually go over the sky, and then you just switch to overlay and you Gaussian blur it a bit. So as you can see, now my sky is way brighter than it used to be. And this is really helpful when you want something to pop out. I usually do in the sky, so I showed you it with a different picture because as you see in this picture, there is no sky and I don't have anything that I now want to Now if you want the entire piece to be brighter, you can simply turn on the brightness or you can add a new layer, use any other brush and just cover the entire thing with the brush. Then you follow the same steps you would with a normal overlay, you turn it to overlay. As you see, it's a bit bright, so you can turn the opacity of that layer down and just the right brightness for you. If you don't have the overlay option on your editing software, you can just simply go to your like uh, default editor in your camera or photo album app. Of course, make sure everything you're doing is on a different layer so that you can like undo it or delete the layer if possible without deleting your actual thumbnail. So now I'm just turning the opacity to exactly where I want it. Then I go to share, PSD, and I'll save the image and bring it into my text program now. I use Fonto, it's completely free. You can download it on the App Store. You can have it on Android, iOS, and Apple. And you just click photo album, you click the camera first, you click the photo that you want, and then you click add text. And you just write whatever text you want to appear on your thumbnail. I usually do uh, text in two rows and different types of fonts so that it's not like plain and boring. So I'm just writing how I make my thumbnails. And thumbnails is going to be a different font because again, I want to stand out. Now for your fonts, you have many different options. 
you just size your text and for my fonts i have like personal fonts you can just search these up on the website dafont.com i'll show you how to download fonts later but these are all the ones i have of course you can always use their default fonts those are pretty nice as well they have a wide variety but if you're like me and you like going over the top stay tuned for the end of the video where i'll show you how to download fonts so for my big thumbnail text i use the font sunrise international and for my how i make my text i'm pretty sure i use like mayhem or something you can like click back into the video to like check all those details but i'm just making sure that you know the the text is centered and like not over overlapping my actual image after i make sure both lines of text are nicely aligned then i will go into the coloring and i usually do one line so usually the first line will be white and then my second line will be uh, my main color for your main color you can do an overlay so i'll show you how to do that you just follow the steps on screen you go to blend to overlay and then you usually do a white color for overlay i recommend you not do it on dark colors because it's harder to see you can also do a red but you can go back to normal. You can also do a gradient. So you want to go to your text. You want to go to create color. Your first color is your top color. So I'm going to select a different shade of red, maybe a brighter one. And then for my second shade, I'm going to do a darker red for the gradient to work. After you get your colors, you want to go to the top right where it says horizontal and you click vertical. You can still adjust the colors at this point if you want like a darker gradient. And after you get those, you want to go to apply and you can click done. Now it's a bit hard to see here because both colors are dark in the background. So you go to stroke. I usually add a white stroke and that's like an outline and it makes your text pop out. You can make your outline thicker or thinner as you wish and if you want to move something you can tap like small arrows it'll move your text pixel by pixel you can also change the size of your text pixel by pixel so once i have my text where i want it i'll go to the bottom right corner scroll down click save image and now i'm going to show you another style of you know creating the text but i'll do it on a different image because i don't want <laughs> the text on this actual thumbnail so again like always you just insert whatever text you want and just say hi you go to style and at the bottom where it says alpha you'll bring it down to the point where it's like almost see-through or as much see-through as you want then you go to stroke and you add a stroke and it creates this cool bubble letter thing and I just like to use now, it. Now something you should be careful with when using overlays is when the color you're overlaying, so usually white, is on top of another white surface. Now this will just make your text look white and as you see if I bring it like over some place that is not white it'll look pretty overlaid but if I bring it into the sky where it is white it literally does not look like overlay it just looks like white text so you want to go to shadow and you want to bring the alpha up a little bit because that'll make the overlay more clear and there are different types of shadow I usually just go with the default because I don't want to go over the top or anything just exaggerate the letter a bit for example let me show you some of the other thumbnails I made as you can see here, the Star Stable logo is in a corner at the top. We have the translucent bubble-like text with the new in yellow. And then my ETB coats is an overlay with the shadow so that the ETB isn't like extremely white text and at least stands out a little bit. Now the next one. So as you can see, the things and the annoying are overlaid the annoying doesn't have like a stroke but the things does then i have the in in plain white text and it's like a pattern of white blue white blue and i just like contrast and i just like things that like fit together if you know what i mean now for my last example my little mini donkey's thumbnail the mini is white again i like contrast and then the donkeys is overlaid i usually do overlay with no stroke when it's like a semi brighter background hello for this part of the video i'm going to show you how i download my fonts 
First, you go to dafont.com and you type in the font that you're searching for, if you have a specific font you're looking for, or you can just browse their huge list of fonts and download whatever one appeals to you. I'm searching for a font called Beauty and the Beast, so you just type that in there and press enter. And then when you see the font you like, you press download, download, and then you go to your like arrow button thingy. Once it finished downloading, you just simply tap the file and it'll bring you to this thing. You press and hold, then you want to click share, and then you want to click copy to fonto. The first time it might not work and just go back to your main page. But don't give up yet, you just go back to your file page and you reshare it. And once you reshare it, it should say install font. You just want to go ahead and click install font. And then when you go back to click add text, your custom text should show up in your my font bar. All right, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this part of my tutorial series. I hope this video helped you get a sense of how I make my thumbnails. And no, it is not magic. You can do this as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.